Hello, my name is Kevin McAvoy. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk to you about a very common switch that occurs in concert bands. And that is the switch from trumpet to euphonium. Many times in a concert band, uh, a player will find themselves either intrigued by a euphonium or maybe perhaps struggling a bit with the trumpet and looking for an option. The euphonium is a lower brass instrument and as such, uh, it, it produces low tones like along the same lines as a trombone and a tuba. Um, a lot of times in the concert bands in middle school level and in high school level, we're lacking those instruments. So if a student is intrigued by the euphonium um, and they're playing the trumpet currently, it's a very easy switch to go from trumpet to euphonium. Another reason to switch from trumpet to euphonium would be to, if you're having trouble on the trumpet, hitting some of those high notes, maybe with some tone production issues, uh, euphonium could be another viable option for you, um, assuming that you want to continue with a brass instrument. The euphonium and the trumpet are very, very similar. If you decide to switch, whether you want to try a low brass instrument or you're having trouble with the trumpet and you want to try a lower brass option, the transition is fairly basic. The notes that you read on the trumpet are in B-flat treble clef. You can read B-flat treble clef with euphonium and there is a lot of music out there written for B-flat treble clef euphonium. The biggest obstacle will be transitioning from the trumpet to the euphonium because of the size of the instrument and the size of the mouthpiece. Trumpet mouthpieces are a very small diameter cup, whereas the euphonium is a very wide diameter. The concept are, is the same. You're buzzing your lips for the trumpet, you're buzzing your lips the same for the euphonium, the difference being there's a lot more room in here for your lips to vibrate so you get a lower sound. So that's going to take some, prop, some practice. Also keep in mind the size of the instrument will require more air. So you take a big breath in and play 16 counts on a trumpet, that same big breath may only get you 8 counts on a euphonium. So it'll take some practice to adjust from the trumpet to the euphonium, both in mouthpiece size and with the air requirements. Now, treble clef euphonium is very popular, but as you advance as a player, you're going to find that there's less offered in the treble clef realm. So as you get into the higher grade high school music and then into college music, there's fewer and fewer treble clef options, so you will need to learn the bass clef. Now, learning the bass clef seems like a daunting task, but it's really not that bad. Um, when I have students that want to transition from treble clef to bass clef, I encourage them to stay on treble clef in band, practice bass clef on, at the, on their own or with me, um, and as they get better with bass clef, gradually start to work that into their concert band. Maybe one or two of the pieces can be in bass clef and one or two are in treble clef, and eventually all the pieces will be in bass clef. But the initial transition from trumpet to baritone, from treble clef to treble clef, is very, very straightforward. All the notes are the same, the fingerings are the same. Learning bass clef can be a slow process if you choose it to be. So, transitioning from trumpet to euphonium may seem like a tall task, but it's really not. Just take your time and be patient with yourself.